So guys, at the moment, it's currently minus four and uh, it's snowing a lot. So I'm just gonna take this opportunity to take some photographs of the snowy woodlands. So guys, this is my hide. I built this over the summer. And I just recently popped it down here. Oh dear, this is really good. But yeah, it's reasonably really good. I just need to sort out those spots over there. Get rid of that one and that one and that one up there. So I've just got that view up on the bottom. So, my setup at the moment is the Tamron 150 to 600 mil with the Canon 70 on it. It's a pretty hefty setup, but it does the job nicely. And. Uh, I really, really like using the, the Tamron. It's got a super fast auto focus, which is uh, nice compared to my old Canon lens, which was a bit slower than this one. But yeah, I'm just gonna change the, the lens real quick and switch over to my wide angle lens so uh, I can get shots from a bit closer rather than having to, to walk all the way back. What I have to do with the camera. Let's check that back up again. All right. I can never really do banana skin, so I always carry this knife here. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So be beautiful. Apparently it's, it's going to be continuously raining in the next day off to you. And that just gives me the opportunity to get out here and uh, do some photography. Let's just hope this weather keeps up and we can grab some fantastic pictures of the snow. Okay guys, so uh, we're in a field now, just looking for some prints of the uh, wildlife. Sorry I haven't been filming much of it. Uh, it's just that this, this camera's playing up and the lens is going a bit dodgy. And yeah, there is some reasons for it, but I'll have to sort it out when we get back home. But it is turning into a bit of a whiteout actually. I mean, you can't really define which one's land and which one's sky. So. Uh, yeah, but hopefully we see some deer or anything really. I just hope we see some 
wildlife, but as you can see, Tamron's holding up nicely. First time actually properly using this in, in the conditions. It is, the snow is getting a bit deeper. There must be now about a foot of snow. Well, it's a complete. And it's quite harsh actually. So guys, I'm just drying everything off. Uh, the Tamron has been holding up really nicely, and then this one, this one's doing all right. This is just a kit lens, 75. Uh, 18 to 55 mil, and yeah, I think uh, the Canon is also holding up really nicely. But the settings I have it on, I have it on AV mode, uh, but I have it on on the light bar. I have it one stop up of the uh, correct exposure because what the uh, what the, the camera does is. Is it compensates for the uh, lightness of the snow, so it makes everything look a lot darker. So what you want to do to correctly expose it is move it one stop up or two, whichever one you want to do. If you want a really light picture or just a darker picture, uh, do it like that. Otherwise, it'll be just be really, really dark, and uh, you won't get the right results that you've been wanting to get. So that is what I find really useful. Yeah, I think it's almost dry, dry now, so we'll pack up the kit now. So I think we're just going to follow them to where they need to. So guys, unfortunately it uh, looks like, like it's quite dead on the wildlife front, but uh, there are loads of tracks everywhere. It's just that when I follow them, they all lead into the middle of the field and then I lose the tracks because they uh, get lost in the snow and I can't follow them. And the squirrels I think are all in the little uh, homes in the ivy and they, they don't look like they've been coming out so what I'm doing is just I'm just t taking a moment to see if there's any possible movement in the bushes or in any of the uh, trees and then uh, yeah I'll just move on to a, a different place but yeah it, uh, it's been quite a good day today and yeah simply stunning here So guys, I'm just taking a bit of refuge behind this tree, uh, and the snow is coming in thick and faster. And this grass is making quite a nice subject blowing in the winds, but it's just trying to find a nice big strong piece of grass to uh, be the main focus of the photo. So guys, um, I'm heading back now. I've heard the buzz of me once or twice, but I think most of the animals are just taking refuge and I, I don't particularly want to disturb them. Uh, my whole camera's iced up, this one especially. Completely iced up. You guys are probably thinking what has happened to the Africa series. Uh, it hasn't stopped. It's just that I can't miss this opportunity to take some pictures in the snow. But uh, yeah, I think it's been quite a successful day. I've taken some cool pictures of the uh, plants in the in the uh, in the snow and all the uh, the grass moving in the snow with the snowflakes coming down behind it. And yeah, this is what England's like when it snows. Thank you for watching.
like and subscribe. Till next time.